Widget and her siblings arrived at the Carroll County Humane Society back in 2020. The lady over the Humane Society, Catherine, asked if I would foster Widget and her siblings. I said, sure, of course. It was obvious she had dwarfism just from being so much smaller than her litter mates. Um, you know, she weighed less. You could just tell by her features. She just looked different. I will say so far the only issue that I've noticed health, you know, health wise would be she does have constipation. Um, we are working on that. I do feel like she may eventually have problems with her legs. Someone or one vet uh, mentioned maybe her back that it would be similar to like a wiener dog. Um, but right now, you know, knock on wood, she's a pretty healthy cat other than the constipation issue. She flies up and down the steps in my apartment. She does parkour on the furniture. So she's, you know, just a ball of energy. She is very bossy and I feel like she tries to make up for being, you know, small. She does make fun of the other cats. I feel like because she thinks they are giants. <laughs> Um, she actually has a look that she will give the cats, and that one look will let them know you don't mess with her. They will kind of like show fear and just run away from her, so she definitely has the bluff on them. Other than terrorizing other cats, she does have a few favorite toys. She loves the crinkle ball. She loves some catnip toys. She will play with the laser pointer, um, but I will say the crinkle ball is probably her favorite. And every now and then she will actually carry it around in her mouth. So I have hopes that I can train her to bring that back to me. I know that will never happen, but in my mind that would be nice. Um, so the one thing about Widget is that I did adopt her you know she is not a pure breed dwarf cat I feel like this was the perfect match because I have always admired the dwarf cats but I feel very strongly about adopting and you know not buying so when I was given the opportunity to adopt her I mean I jumped at it because I had fostered her I was first in line I've had countless foster cats and four or five that I ended up keeping myself. So Widget was certainly not the first, but she has definitely changed my life. I never thought I would have a social media for a cat, that she would be over 100,000 followers, and that people all around the world would tell me how much they love her and how much they enjoy seeing her photos and uh, the videos. And honestly, th that is the best possible thing. I honestly can't put into words how that makes me feel. That people enjoy seeing her and that her little grumpy face can possibly make someone else smile.